to do things. There are different ways of doing a problem like this. You guys could try to combine your terms. Like just because I'm showing you guys one way doesn't mean that's the only way. You could also say, well, couldn't I get common denominators and then combine these and then I'd have a proportion? Yes, and that's perfectly fine, right? You could get that you could multiply this by x plus 1 over x plus 1, then they'd have common denominators and then you could combine them, then you have a proportion and it was like the last example I did, right? You could do it that way. I I, mean, I like to get rid of the denominator. I want to find an LCD. I want to find an expression that both x plus 1 as well as x squared plus x divide into. And immediately, you might just think, oh, just multiply them, and that's easy. However, we always want to look into factoring. And if I can factor this, I don't need to write x plus 1 once because they both share x plus 1. So my least common denominator is going to be x times x plus 1 because x plus 1 divides into that x times, and x times x plus 1 divides into that one time, right? Now, again, maybe let's say you're a little confused still. You're like, yeah, I'm not really sure if I'm right. So what you can do is, again, once you find the LCD, multiply everything by the LCD. If that doesn't get rid of your fractions, then you didn't do the LCD correctly, OK? So let's just see. I, you know, let's see. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just going to try this. So I multiply everything times this LCD that I, set, or I, that I decided. Now watch what happens. There's no denominator here. This is just x times x plus 1, right? Which is really x squared plus x. I can distribute that back through. Here, numerator, denominator. Wouldn't you guys agree the x plus 1's divide out? So I'm just left with negative 3x. Over here, wouldn't you guys agree that the x is in the denominator and the numerator divide out? The x plus 1's in the denominator and numerator divide out? And I'm just left with 3. Right? I got rid of my fractions okay, by multiplying by this LCD. Right? So if you still have fractions, you don't have the correct LCD. You might want to go back and, re and revisit. Now, the next thing is um, x squared plus x minus 3x. Now, again, usually the last example, or last couple examples, guys, we just solve for x, right? We did inverse operations. Well, here we notice that this is a <laughs> quadratic, right? And unless we, unless we only have the quadratic term and we don't have a linear, we're either going to have to factor quadratic formula or complete in the square. Okay? So I think typically looking at factoring is going to be our preferred method to, to look at first. So this becomes x squared minus 2x, get the 3 over, because we want to set it equal to 0 so we can apply the 0 product property. So again, all trinomials, guys, when factored, can be written as a, as a product of two binomials. So what two terms give us x? Well, let's just do x and x. And now we got to see, is there any two numbers that multiply to give me negative 3 but add to give me negative 2? Hey, x minus 3, x plus 1. That wasn't that bad. Wow, thanks for reminding me, Mr. Glogan, that I really need to practice my factor in the beginning of the year because now I'm ready for this. So now, since it's set equal to 0, I can apply the 0 product property x equals 3 and x equals negative 1. Should I walk away? No, I got to make sure I go back and check my answer, right? Make sure it's not extraneous. So I go back up to my room and say, oh, I have a restriction here. x cannot equal 1, right? And crap, what did I just find? x equals negative 1. So this is going to be called an extraneous. And what that means, guys, is um, at least like on a test, your answer choices might be oh, 3. 3 comma negative 1 or negative 1. And, you, and then, as long as you guys understand, oh, yeah, negative, that's extraneous. That's not an answer. So the only answer choice is 3, right? The only solution there. I just subtracted a 3 and did x minus 3x is negative 2x. No, I just combined these. You have a dollar, you borrow $3. You owe me $2, right? Because that's a 1 right there. All right, good. Capiche, caprende.